Hello my friends and welcome back to The Witcher. In our last video, we escaped from prison, sort of, and we spent pretty much the entire video exploring the temple district or the temple quarter of Azima. In today's video, I plan on finishing up, hopefully exploring everything, and then perhaps starting on some quests, maybe going inside some buildings. But yeah, that's the plan, so let's go ahead and get started. We finished with the lovely Carmen last time, so we need to wander around and continue looting. I'm running out of room, so I need to get to like an inn of some sort. The city guards avoid us, but who will protect us? From what though? I protect you from monsters. Oh look, the uh, well there's a notice board first. Nothing here. Is this the Harry Bear Inn? Well, I need to come back there because there are quests there and I imagine there's an innkeeper there. But like I said, I think last time I want to finish doing the outside first. Someone stole my trousers. Wait till I'll catch them. You're wearing trousers though. You're walking. You're walking funny too. It's all right. Hello, Cortesian. Spend some gold and I'll get wild. Mm. Pass. Pass. Bye. Not, not interested. The temple Square. It took me a moment to figure out how to get back up and around. It's a little tricky trying to figure out some of these roads sometimes. Because that's where I was with the creepy Cortesian. Hello, Knight of the Order. The eternal fire lights my way. So I hear. The cloister, hang on, uh, location. The cloister of the order, there is really only one haven of law and order in the temple quarter of Azima, it is the cloister. The seat of the order of the flaming rose, crimson banners embroidered with rose, with a rose hang before the entrance. Only authorized personnel can enter. Injury should be directed to Siegfried, whose office is in one of the buildings belonging to the order. Okie dokie, that's... Well, we're not going to go in there yet, but it's on my map. <laughs> Order footman. Siegfried spoke of you. Uh, thank you. I, I hope all good things, I hope. Poster. Bibervelt and daughter fine apparel. Ever considering enlisting, visit your local Royal Tamarian Guard recruiting station. PFI, poor fucking infantry barrels. <laughs> so it has, um, what is it? Uh, it has graffiti on top of it. <laughs> the town cemetery. The dead and undead await behind that gate. Mm. Plenty of work for a witcher. Is it behind the gate, he said? Let's see. Vizima Cemetery. Signboard. Grave digger. Well, let's talk to the grave digger. Well, it be pine or oak, perhaps. An entire crypt? Let's see. Five hours wide. What, uh, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why would you come to a grave digger? So I ask you, who will you be burying? Fear not, my prices are reasonable. I'm here for another reason. You should plan ahead. Very well. What is it you want? Well, I'm here about the notice. I'm here about the notice. Yes? I understand you need six jugs of dog's lard. I want you to call as many mutts as possible. Bring me the lard as proof. And why is the cemetery shut? Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now... No one seems bothered. Okay. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me for now for a while. Well, let's do this something else first. Tell me something else. What do you need? I guess that's it, and I don't know what to give him yet, so we'll just say farewell. Farewell. And he said the cemetery is shut? Let's quick save and just double check this statement. It is locked. Okay, well, 
I am going to head back down to the hairy bear and start there on our inside inside looking around. Um, then maybe I'll come back to this one, the cloister. That seems like a place for quests. You know what? One thing I do like is that they have the smoke coming out of the houses. I feel like that's a nice little thing that they included. Hildegard Zolstuck. Who is that? Oh, there's Siegfried. Well, uh, let's talk to him and see if he, if he has anything new to say. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Oh, um... I don't know. I really don't want to right now. Hmm. I hadn't really thought about it. I'm here about the notice. I suspected it would interest you. Have you proof of slaying ten drowners? No, not yet. Return when you have their tongues. Okay, so nothing new to say. I, ooh, it's kind of, can I join multiple factions? Like in Skyrim where you can actually join all of them, which still seems so weird, but whatever. Um, Damn, what a freak. These people are so judgy. I'm gonna help you. Anyway, let's head to the hairy bear. <laughs> Greatest name. And uh, talk to as many people as we can. Oh, I hear a uh, fighting going on. A little loot player. I love this tune. Hit me, chicky. Okay. Fighting or watching? Traveler Monroe? Bruise? Braze? Um. <laughs> Join us. Mm. Uh, not right now. I best be going. Farewell. I, I, I want to, but I want to talk to you more. I should leave. It One more has to do. Wonder which. Um, that, okay. I'm itching to it some. Geralt, it's been ages. I couldn't believe Zoltan when he said you'd returned. It's me, Munro. Exiles, the war, you, Zoltan, and I helped them. You must remember. No, I, I, I don't. How's life? Can't complain. I have a nice slow job as a bouncer. <laughs> That's slow. The guests settle things between themselves. It's a quiet place. Birds don't ever shit in their own nests. Anyone play dice here? I play professionally, I'd say. Care for a game? Sure, we'll see if there's truth to the rumors about you. Whenever. Even now. Oh, uh, well... Why not? Let's play a little, little dice. Oh, new quest dice poker, the professional. Oh, when I completed the novice. <laughs> Great. <laughs> let's, let's see how well this goes. <laughs> mm. Two threes. Yeah. All right, well, let's see if we can get an, uh, something better. Hey, three threes, look at that. Oh, roll dice. I'm always forgetting to do that. Alright, so I have two fours, so let's roll and try to get three of a kind, or another pair maybe? Three of a kind, great. Wonderful! So... Uh, dice Poker, the Professional. I beat Monroe while I look for another player. Alright. That's great. 
Did he have anything else to say, though? Well, when you did not have like anything lax. new to say, let's look around. Your Looks mother, like there's Sykes dwarf cock. This fighter is over there. Let's look at the trunk. That's what we'll do. And uh, we'll come back and do the fist fighting later. I don't really want to do it right now. <laughs> it Hello, doggy. Cheeky. Okay, angry doggy. What is that? Dried fruit and nuts. Okay. I run out of room real quick. Gambler, thugs. All right, hello, innkeeper. Let's quick save. Let's see what you might have to say. Well, well. Swords on your back. White hair. You run away from a circus? No, still a member. <laughs> but I hear they're looking for you. <laughs> Sharp tongue. Good fella. What can I get you? Hmm. Well, uh, let's ask about the betting first. What's with all this betting? Common folks entertainment. Two toughs fight. We wage it on who wins. What do those nuts get out of it? Gold. Spectators have a laugh while the boys let off steam. If something goes awry, the dogs get some supper. Uh, ew. That's... Um, okay. Well, let's relay that we kind of lost the parcel. Heron Brog asked me to deliver this parcel. Coleman's dirty schemes. Parcels for him. Where can I find this Coleman? Am I my brother's keeper? Look for him yourself. I'm busy running this place loftily called a tavern. All right, I'll look around. Ask and ye shall receive, seek and ye shall find. Okay, well, I'm going to look at my storage. All right, I did deposit what I could. I'm, I'm not really sure how your inventory works when it comes to like potion making and stuff, so I don't want to drop off everything. But I did come and loot some, and I see that Coleman and Ramsmeat are right over here. So let's save again and talk to them. Greetings. Look who's here. Who are you? They call me Coleman. What do you do? I sell things, travel about. Like where? Swamps recently, what do you care? Just asking. You buying? Well, what do you sell? What do you sell? Where have you been? White powder. Feast tech. Should have guessed. I sell my friends other goods, but you're no friend. Right. You buying? Well, I did have to reload because I asked about the salamandra and he stopped talking to me. So I'm going to just ask about the talk about the parcel and see how that goes. <laughs> had a parcel for you from Heron. You had it. Mm, yeah, the city guards took it. The city guards took it. Curses. Always happens to me. Maybe we can bribe someone. No grudge. Just don't offer to deliver my packages again. Get it? <laughs> see ya. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Oh, and I got a level. You buy. Yeah, let's go shopping first. Well, I can't sell anything, and the only thing I can buy from him is a drug. And while I was um, updating my... Well, oh, while I was trying oh. to do all that, it updated a quest that said the hot potato quest completed. And he forgave me for losing his package. So we're going to talk to Ramsmeat next. I can't remember, did I have a entry on him i i haven't yet i have one on carmen though i met carmen a prostitute from the zima slums all the local strumpets value her opinion and it should be, could be said that carmen is her representative so she's the madam basically <laughs> and then zoltan managed to get to the temple court of the dwarf was happy to see me again i like zoltan he's pretty cool well let's talk to ramsmeat the name sounds familiar what you want, freak? I have some questions. You haven't the faintest idea who you're talking to, freak. One word, and before you count to three, you'll be facing a dozen hardened assassins. You'll be dead before you count to three. <laughs> well, the cub growls, but does it bite? I could use someone for wet work. Um, hmm, well... Let me think. 
So I could say no, but can I think about it? I'll think about it. Relax. A rhetorical question. I know how you handle the Provost and the Mishlat Brothers crew. I'll answer your questions as a token of goodwill. What do you do? <laughs> I'm the king of the underworld, Wolf. Whores, thieves, murderers, they all answer to me. Come and see me when you need work. Ah, uh, how's things? Old whores have wings. Beat it, Witcher. Okay. Ram's meat. Let's see. I met Ramsmeet, the leader of a gang from the Temple Quarter. He didn't make a good impression. I think the feeling was mutual. Go plow your mom. Wow, you're awful bitter. Well, that's okay. I don't mind if the local kingpin isn't a friend of mine. All right. Well, I'm going to head on out of here. Oh, there's Zoltan. Let's talk to Zoltan, see if he, if he has anything new. Excuse me, dog. Your mother anything new to say. Okay, let's ask about Vivaldi's bank. Know anything about Vivaldi's bank? No, it's only Vivaldi's by name. How so? New owners. Humans. Oh. That explains a lot. Really? Well, um, yeah, I guess Farewell. so. Farewell. I guess, maybe? I don't know, we haven't gone in there yet. There's a lot of things where it's refer referencing stuff that I wonder if it, like, if you read the books, it would make more sense, because I haven't read the books completely yet. I They're on my to-do list but haven't gotten there yet or it's just I'm doing things out of order and eventually will make sense and I'm assuming it's the latter anyway Golan Vivaldi uh, I unfairly suspect of Vivaldi of financing Salamander the evidence indicates he's innocent well I uh, okay what evidence again I feel like I did things out of order <laughs> it's okay it's fine I don't need it to be 100% linear, but it does kind of help a little bit. Damn it. Well, I'm not real sure what this little girl in danger thing is about, but I'm sure I'll figure it out later. I did run down here to where Siegfried's post is at and see if I can go into these doors here. And I can. Start my internal investigations. Well, I did loot inside of, I'm guessing, Siegfried's house, basically. And we have a couple of new journal entries, I'm assuming. So the first is The Flower and the Flame by Knight Eric Vogel with the consent of his superiors. It was at the time when the Order of the White Rose was falling into decay and declining in power. Masters and knights were equally corrupt, lacking in faith. They preferred a warm bed to fighting street girls to prayer. Rudolf Valaris ceded the title of Grand Master to Jacques de Aldersburg, a man of great piety and righteousness. It is said that during the conclave, a white rose in his hand burst into flames and pious, feared, pious fear seized those present. Jacques Jacques, not Jax. <laughs> Jacques had a clear vision of necessary reforms and did not hesitate to put them into effect. He changed the name of the order, which is now known as the Order of the Flaming Rose. Above all, he set the knights a new goal to serve and protect humans from creatures of darkness and monsters, a category he expanded to include those known as the Scoia'tael. Hmm. Anyway, the other one is about Spectre's Race and the Damned. The book contains information on noon wraiths, night wraiths, and specters, and the terrifying wild hunt. So we have journal entries, ingredients, monster entries, all kinds, and wild hunt. Well, let's look at all this stuff. First one is wild hunt. That's what we saw when we went into the basement of the chapel. Um, which was odd. And then we have rates. And then I think ingredients, we had a couple updates too, right? We had shadow dust, um, shimmering dust, and then cockatrice and cockatrice eye, but I should know about that already. And then monsters. Are there any more? Oh, noon wraith and night wraith. I think this, oh. Noon wraith haunt cultivated fields and meadows. They always appear when the sun is high. 
and Night Wraith found after dark. Well, that makes sense. And the other thing I wanted to look at was Fistech. This was the drug that they were selling at the Harry Bear Inn. So Fistech is an illegal narcotic that is used wildly in Temeria. It takes the form of a white powder and is highly addictive. It can be manufactured only by professionals with the use of a complicated alchemical equipment. Hmm. So it sounds like other kind of drugs. Well, I'm going to head on out of here and head down to the... What was it? The cloister to see if I can get in there to look around. All right. Well, I have been trying to go into some additional places. We did go into Siegfried's post. I tried to go into the Order of Flaming Rose, but um, it's locked, so I can't get in really. Uh, I do want to go into some of the internal places, but I'm a little nervous that I might um, trigger something that needs to happen later and along those lines. That's basically it. So what I want to do right now is actually come down to the detective's house because we do have a quest to talk to him. Um, I think it's Berengar's Secrets? No, hang on. The Oh yes, it's Witcher's Secret. I was Siegfried recommended to go talk to a friend of his who is a private investigator to help find the salamanders and that might be a good idea. So again, let's click save before I go in in case oh, something gets messed life. up and we'll talk to our future detective friend who's not here great well let's loot the place a guide to Vizima let's look at that uh, like most human cities Vizima was built on the foundations of an elven city the seat of Temerian kings grew over the centuries and today consists of three large districts, a port and sprawling outskirts. In the temple quarter, the visitor's attention is drawn to the monumental cloister of the Flaming Rose, St. Lebodia's Hospital, famous for the many miraculous recoveries that have occurred there, is also hard to miss. While admiring these edifices, avoid wandering into the non-human district, which has become a den of poverty and the lair of social outcasts. Most non-humans have been relocated to Old Vizima, which has become a ghetto inaccessible to visitors. So are they like trapped there? That's weird. Currently, the trade quarter is developing rapidly. This is hardly surprising as it is home to wealthy merchants, as well as trade and political officials. The city's leading bank and the town hall can also be found here. While in Vizima's trade quarter, be sure to visit the famous marketplace where traders offer goods from around the world. So, new journal entry. Let's click that off of Vizima. Does it have me say anything different? No, not really. Well, let's look inside the rest of these places. All right, I did look around in his wardrobes and stuff. Um, not really anything I want to take right now. So let's talk to Raymond and see how this goes. <laughs> well, 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 what do we have here? I'm Geralt of Rivia. A warrior like no other. Your legend precedes you. How can I help? I'm looking for some information. Is this where I'll find it? Good question. I used to work for the lawyers, Kadringer and Fenn. Satisfied? The names mean nothing to me, but I'll assume that's a recommendation. As a professional, you understand information has its price. I'll pay. I'm all ears, White Wolf. Okay. Well, let's ask what it's like to be a private eye first. What's it like being a private eye? Lousy work in a town full of dirt and conspiracies. I spend most of my time spying on nobles and rich burghers who cheat on their wives. You can't imagine what people are capable of. I don't think I care to imagine. <laughs> I recently followed Morton, commander of Faltest's palace guards. Heard of him? I don't think so. I saw him in the stables with two young pages. You wouldn't believe. I've heard enough. I'm all ears, White Wolf. Okay, let's ask about the salamander pins. I'm interested in the people who wear salamander pins. Just so happens I know a thing or two. Before I go on, I wouldn't mind knowing what your interest in the case is. Hmm. Let's say, let's ask about Azar Javad. Javid. I'm saying all these names wrong. Azar Javed. Name mean anything to you? I've heard it. Why are you looking for Javed? Let's just say my boots do a rendezvous with his ass. Usually I charge for information, but I'll give you this bit for free. 
I've been working on that case for a while. Okay, go on. Well, yeah, is it personal or is someone paying you? Personal matter or a commission? I'll risk trusting you. Let me tell you a story. A happy couple once lived in Vizima, ordinary as fish in a pond with a ten-year-old boy. One day the father returned home and was puzzled not to be greeted by his son, his dog, or the smell of dinner on the stove. He suspected nothing until he found the dog dead, shot in the muzzle with a heavy crossbow. He wasn't even sure it was his dog, but then he found his wife pinned to the kitchen door with a spear. He searched the house in vain for his son. The culprits hadn't left a trace. To make a long story short, Vincent Mice had to close the case. No witnesses, no evidence. Except six months later, a monster's corpse turned up in a trash heap. Eyes like festering wounds, pale, rough skin, unnaturally muscular body. Everyone had forgotten the murder and disappearance. Almost everyone. See, the missing boy had one characteristic feature, a sixth toe. Only the parents knew about it. Always had trouble finding shoes for the kid. And the dead monster had an identical sixth toe. The father has devoted his life to tracking down the murderers. I hope he finds them. Back to reality. This is what I've managed to learn. Azar Javed, a Zerikanian sorcerer, leads Salamandra. He's more dangerous than a pit of kikimores, but unfortunately out of my reach. With his contacts and resources, he's got almost free reign in the city. I got a taste of his abilities. Anything else? I suspect Salamandra has built a large-scale operation, with gold simply greasing the wheels of their political ambitions. They're conducting genetic experiments, dangerous ones. Regular thugs wouldn't have the knowledge or means. Who's working for Javed? Any guesses? The captain of the guard who dropped that investigation disappears, Knights. Maybe you can squeeze some information out of him. Is that all? We might have one more lead. The city guards detain someone who could provide information. The guards at the city jail? <laughs> yeah. Find a way to question that prisoner. In the meantime, learn what you can from the guards. Count on it. People open up to me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> His information could be priceless. Good luck. Know anything more about the Salamander prisoner? He may be one of the leaders. Though in this town, the guards capture pawns while the big fish swim free. We'll know for certain once you question him. We'll see. Uh, just one thing. I think you're being followed. Any suggestions? Wait here a while. Make them nervous. Surprise those who want to surprise you. I'll leave at midnight. Oh. Oh, oh I really don't want to, but okay. <laughs> I guess I'm not getting a choice in the matter. <laughs> The Witcher is taking his time. <gasps> he must it's have left a different Professor. way. No matter. Seems true. I assume the trap is set? Indeed. Tend to your tasks in the trade quarter. I'll leave the matter to our best agent. Okay, so I need to... Alright, let's get out our... Uh... Steel sword. Die, shit eater. Do I not have any more guys behind me? It looks like. Okay, so let's get on the quick one. And let's attack this guy. Tit that! All right. That wasn't too bad. Not what I intended to do. I didn't want it to go to nighttime, but I guess there's worse things, right? <laughs> Well, I did take a moment to loot, and I did also pop into my journal to look over a couple of new entries. So based on what Raymond Marlowe told us, Vincent Meese uh, seems to vanish at night and nobody knows where he goes. And then the journal entry on Raymond says that I've hired a detective named Raymond to help me search for the Salamander's leader. He's a bitter and cynical man, refused to lift a finger until I paid him, but he also seems to know a lot about a lot, including his craft. I'm not sure how much I paid him, but apparently that happened. 
And then let's see. Um, it doesn't update Witcher's Secret, it doesn't look like, but I do have a new quest called Vizima Confidential. It seems that the Salamanders have a secret agent who set a trap for me. I must find out who he is. First, I should interrogate the prisoner being held by the city guards. And then we have Crown Witness. Raymond told me that the city guards caught a member. Okay, this, those two seem to be related. All right, since it is nighttime, I was going through my quest log to see what I could work on before having to meditate and go back to day and continue exploring. The What I did finally figure out, though, is the little girls in danger has to do with the quest working girls. And I have to go to three separate areas to find guys harassing the ladies of the night. And it seems to only pop up at nighttime, which makes sense. So here, here they are. Let's Come on. quick save before we confront them and see how this all goes. Get lost, buddy. Leave that lady be. Feel sorry for a whore. Before you go, apologize for your bad manners. <laughs> you lost it, old man. Beat it before I cut you. When you've apologized, go see Captain Vincent. Tell him you're a criminal and a louse. <laughs> Draw your sword, Drifter. I never killed defenseless people. Lost your chance. At him! Okay, well, let's pull out our steel sword. And we'll attack you both. Die, bastard! Well, that's not working out so great. Die, shit eater! Great. That was relatively easy. So we'll run around and work on these, this quest. Love how Gerald is just uh, running around. Oh, and there was something where I have to get dog stuff as well, right? I can find the remains. There it is. Yes, I had to get beast fangs. I think it had to do with, let's see, dog catcher Vizima, six pots of tallow and I have to attack the dogs. They they don't just pop up all on their own. And of course, I'm going the wrong direction. I don't know why my sword is still out, but OK, <laughs> I'll just go with it. Looks to be like there is a oh, well, there's another dog right here. That's two of them, right? Maybe. Yep. Oh, here's another lady having problems. Silence. Shove off. I have business. Shove off or I'll kill you like a dog. Try your luck. Grab him. Yes, try your luck. Let's pull out my steel sword. Die, shit eater! I don't know why this dwarf is helping me, but that's awful nice. You dare challenge. Hello, dwarf. Are you. Okay, I guess not. Well, there was another dog. Okay, here's the dog. And. I hate how this looting is so tricky sometimes. Screw co op existence! Let's see. I need to head back over this way. Let's keep looking for dogs to kill. I feel so wrong about this. I like dogs and now I have to kill them. And it's just, I'm not okay with this. More assa assassins bothering hookers. It seems odd. And I like how I put my sword away when I go talk to them. You there, shove off. Assault is impolite. <laughs> Leave while you can. This woman is with me, oh. so you die. She's not really with us, though, is she? I mean... I'll kill you! Yeah. 
Okay, quest updated working girls. I taught three of the largest groups of bandits a lesson. The girls should be safe now. I need to see Carmen and get paid. Okay, I can do all those things. All right, well, I did take a moment to run around and find more dogs to kill for the quest of Dog Watcher of Zima. And I did manage to collect six pots of dog tallow. And I'll turn that in, I'm guessing, in the morning because it's, it's night and they're not here. And then again, we have Working Girls, which is done. Um, I And I'm here with Carmen to turn that quest in. So I'm going to save real quick. Talk to Carmen. Whoa, hi. Thanks for helping. They leave us alone now. You're on your own? You mad? Some local boys take care of us. They just couldn't handle those freaks. I see. What's it to be? 200 orans? Unless you'd rather collect another way. Um, I, I actually would rather take the gold right now. I'll take the gold. As you wish. 200 orans. Thanks. We are grateful. Whores have their honor, you know. The girls will be impressed. They're sure to give you a discount. <laughs> okay. Um, money collected and a discount to go with it. Dot, dot, dot. <laughs> well, let's talk to her one more time. Nice to see you. Oh, oh, I could play dice with her. And I could also rest. Actually, let's... Hmm... Yeah, let's rest a bit and I will level up. All right, I did meditate and also I leveled myself up, um, hopefully correctly. And I did run oh, down over here to the grave digger so that I can turn in the dog catcher of the Zima quest. And let's do that. What do you? I'm here about the notice. I'm here about the notice. Yes. I have what you need. I have six jugs of dog's lard. I use the lard on the casket. <laughs> Here's your payment. Okay, let's ask about Why the is the cemetery again? Because the dead fear not. They stay in the gr Um, yeah, I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. For now, farewell. Think putting a dead body to rest is easy? Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? I think that's it. Farewell. Did I get a quest? All right, I completed the dog to the dog catcher, the dog catcher of Vadima. And did I get the key to the cemetery gate? It's still locked. Okay, well, the next thing I actually want to do is I want to go back to the this trade area over here and talk to, what was it, um, Kogstein, because I feel like Kogstein had a quest, then the Vivaldi house was right nearby, and the blacksmith was right nearby. So I want to go into each of those, and I will pick you back up when I get there. Okay, we are in the blacksmith's house. I Shit in my before I start uh, looting anything, I want to talk to people. I'm hoping I can sell stuff at one of these places because my bags are getting super full. Greetings, sir. Greetings. You the smith's apprentice? Indeed, I run the shop. Keep things tidy. Uh, what do you need? Hmm. Well, show me your wares. Show me your wares. Mr. Chive says you're right and honorable, so I see no reason not to trade. Here you are. Oh, perfect. Human come to see a non-human. You need something. I'm not entirely human. <laughs> and yes, you might have something I need. Malcolm Stein. Not a better blacksmith than all of a seamer. Well, I did try to sell stuff with uh, his apprentice, but again, I can only sell certain things and I really need to find a place to sell like food items or something along those lines. Anyway, um, well, let's compliment him first. Nice workshop. You must be proud. But where's your equipment? They took it! Those sons of bitches! Now I must rent if I want to work! Thieves? No, worse! Damn city officials! Slap me with taxes on running a non-human business! Trading in non-human goods! How the hell do they imagine I'll forge things for humans? I'm a bleeding dwarf! Strange coincidence, too! <laughs> That character connected with the altar recently acquired new Mahakaman anvils, strangely similar to my own. 
Hmm, that is strange. Will you sell me your wares? Zultan praised you, so we can trade. If you care to buy something, see my apprentice. I do the forging and handle special orders. Oh, what is your forging? And I can't forge anything right now. Okay, well, that really stinks. He can't... They took all his stuff, so he can't... Um, I mean, he's still making stuff, obviously, but... I feel like there's a sense of racism going on here that I'm not entirely... Well, I'm not okay with racism in general, but I'm really not okay with it right now. Oh, anything else? I'll take another whetstone. I already have some. All right, well, let's go downstairs back outside and I forget who is right next door is the house of the Valdi there it is door to the Valdi's house let's save and go in here it's like they're supposed to be bankers or something like that What do you want? Greetings, dwarf. Racial segregation with the first words uttered. What do you want me to call you? Bah! You're like everyone else. Like the whole accursed city. Vizima humans get everything we get not. I neither live in Vizima, nor am I human. What then? A witcher. A mutant. Well, in that case, sorry. I'm Golan Vivaldi. My cousin, Vimy Vivaldi, once met a witcher. A debt collector, apparently. I'm Geralt, and I'm no debt collector. What brings you here? Well, um... I hope you recover your assets? Uh, sure. I hope you recover your assets. That bank has belonged to my family for ages, and now some human. You call this justice? Okay, well, let's ask about the Salamandra. I'm looking for the leader of a certain organization. You suspect me because I'm a dwarf? Uh, well, I can... Hmm. Let's go with number one and apologize. Maybe he'll be more sympathetic then? Sorry I suspected you. I know you've lost control of your bank. Kind to be so frank. With a dwarf. Any time. I have information about Javed that might be useful. Even the smallest details sometimes are. I saw his name in old files. He paid tuition at the sorcerer school in Barnard. He was expelled after taking an interest in dark magic. He stopped paying tuition and that was the last trace of him in our system. You're dealing with a renegade. And a dangerous one at that. Hmm. Let's see. Quest completed, suspect Vivaldi. New quest, what lies beneath? This investigation is not straightforward as Raymond might wish. Apparently, not all the suspects are guilty. I reckon I should search for any leads on my own. Okay, well, let's talk to Goran v uh, Golan hey. Vivaldi again. What? I guess Goodbye. that's it. Well, I do want to keep going into places and talking to people, but we're pretty much at time for today. So I think tomorrow we'll actually go to Kalkstein's house, maybe stop at Shiani, and then start hopefully working on some additional quests. I feel like I keep accidentally working on them and completing them, um, which is fine, but it's, it's a little too disorganized for me. So I'm going to try to get everything situated properly <laughs> as, as best I can with this game, <laughs> which doesn't seem to be working out so well. Screw anyway, off on a tangent. Thank you as always so much for watching and I will see you again on Saturday with another new Witcher video.